Hey guys and welcome! Today Season 2 has started in Battlefield 2042 and we got the first new weekly missions, new portal modes, new dedicated playlists for the new map, a lot of content to unlock and several other changes and improvements. If you want to know more about all the bug fixes and changes that have been made with today's update, be sure to check out my last video, cause in this one here I will focus on the weekly missions, the new modes we got and some other things that were added with the season start. But first, let's have a look at the new home screen we got today. This one is a lot more simple than before, cause the complete screen where you had to choose between All Out War, Hazard Zone or Portal is now gone. Instead, we only have this screen here and on top you can find your collection, battle pass, profile and store as usual, but at the bottom left you can now find all of the available game modes or categories. So for Conquest and Breakthrough, you can now find all available playlists in the respective category, including solo matches and a short tutorial for the modes. Rush was added as a permanent mode as well and is now also available here in this quick menu. And then there is Portal, simply as a category instead of being a different part of the game. And here you will find all featured modes that change twice a week, the server browser and the option for hosting your own Portal mode. For Hazard Zone, it's the same. Quick access to the play button plus a short tutorial on everything you need to know about the mode. In the collection or the battle pass overview there were no changes made except for the new specialists and the new weapons that were added to them. So that UI is done very well now and it's much easier to find what you're looking for. We also got two new 24-7 playlists for the new map, so you can play it as much as you like and over and over again. And this time you also don't have to play either Conquest or Breakthrough, this time both is available and can be found in the respective categories. So you can jump straight into the mode you prefer and won't have to wait for it. The new battle pass we got is again available as free pass and as premium pass and to unlock the different tiers you need to earn battle pass points. Just like in season 1, these points can be earned by completing the weekly missions and simply by earning XP. For the missions you can earn up to 49 points per week but only if you complete the bonus mission as well, otherwise it will only be 39 points per week. The bonus mission will only be accessible for one week and will then disappear, so if you want the additional 10 battle pass points you always need to complete the bonus mission within one week. All other weekly missions on the other hand will stay available until the end of the season and you can complete them at any time. For the XP points you can earn, you start again with very low XP for one point and then the XP will increase with every 10 points you earn through XP. So for your first point you only need 2000 XP and once you earned 10 points with this amount of XP, it will be increased to 2250 for one point. This increase has no cap, so the more points you earn through XP, the more XP you need for one point. In addition, we also got a new season badge that you can find at your player card overview and then seasons and I hope this time the counter will work and does not have this strange delay again. So our battle pass points will be counted in real time and not with several days of delay. Cause especially towards the end of the season this was really annoying. However, you need 1150 points for the tier 1 badge again, so if you fully complete the battle pass you will only have the tier 3 badge unlocked and need 150 more points to earn the tier 1 badge. If you frequently play the game and also earn all available points through the missions and the bonus missions, you should be able to get the full badge. But now let's have a closer look at the first weekly missions of the season and how to complete them. All missions are very focused on infantry combat and that fits perfectly to the new map that is also made for more infantry and close combat. So in the first section you need to play one round of conquest, call in one ranger and capture or neutralize three objectives. All of these missions can be done within one round of conquest, so just choose a mode from the conquest category and capture objectives and finish the round. For the ranger called in, you might have a hard time doing this on a normal server at the moment, cause everyone is doing the missions right now, so ranger is very busy and everyone wants to have a piece of it. If you don't want to wait until ranger is available for call in, you can also complete this mission on an empty portal server. Just create one in the portal web hub and then host it in game. Over there you have all the time in the world to call in ranger and complete the mission. If you don't know how to call it in, you simply need to hold B on PC, LB plus RB on Xbox or L1 plus R1 on Playstation to open the call in tablet. Then choose ranger and select a location for the drop. Once this is done, the mission should be marked as completed. I also heard that calling in a vehicle with a tablet will count as well, but I haven't tried that out, so I can't confirm this. But you can try for yourself of course and see if it counts. 
In the second section of this week, you need to do 20 kills or revives, earn 5 logistics ribbons and heal or resupply 20 teammates. For the kills and revives, just do what you have to do in Battlefield. Kill the enemy and keep your teammates alive. If you want to be an even better teammate, take a medic or ammo crate with you and heal or resupply your mates. This way you will also complete the third mission of the section. And for the logistics ribbons, you need to do the exact same thing. Heal and resupply teammates or repair allied vehicles. So if you complete the former missions, you should automatically do the ribbon mission as well. And then for the last section, you need to do 20 kills with sniper rifles and 40 kills with SMGs. And I don't think this needs any explanation. Just choose the weapons you like or want to rank up and do the kills with them. If you should need any help with SMGs or sniper setups, just check out the videos I did for each of the weapon categories. And at the end, there's the weekly bonus mission that is only available for the next 7 days and to complete it, you simply have to deal 2000 damage to either infantry or vehicles. In Portal we only got two new modes today and I can't tell you exactly when they will change again, but I think it will be on Friday. But for now we have Conquest Chainlink and Squid's Rush Chaos. Chainlink is a mode that has been available in Battlefield 4 already and you have to capture adjacent points to create a chain of objectives. So when you hold objective B for example, you have to capture either A or C to start building a chain. If you capture C, you will have to go to either A or D next and so on. And the more chains you hold or the longer your team's chain is, the more tickets the enemy team is losing. I can highly recommend to try this mode out, especially when the normal conquest mode is lacking a bit of structure for you. Squid's Rush Chaos should be well known by now and is a 128 player rush mode with different settings than the normal rush, faster player movement and limited access to specialist gadgets. In the in-game store you can find three new cosmetic bundles now called Lawless, Rapid Dominance and New Leaf. And all of them include different specialist, vehicle and weapon skins alongside player card tags. We also got a free item that everyone can claim and this is a weapon charm called Herbal Peace. All other item bundles of the former season and also some of the pre-season items are also still available, so if you missed out on them, you can still buy them with your Battlefield coins. Cosmetic items that have been available with the Season 1 Battle Pass are of course not available anymore, so if you didn't complete the Battle Pass in time, these items are lost. What is still available for everyone to unlock are the gameplay items such as the weapons, vehicles and the specialist, but they have to be unlocked with assignments now. So if you missed Season 1 completely, you can still unlock all of the necessary gameplay items, but not the cosmetic items anymore. And if you are a subscriber of Prime Gaming, you can now claim a new skin over on Twitch for the Specialist Dozer. And that's it for today. So far I really like the new season and the new content and I hope you all have fun completing the new missions and leveling up the battle pass. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like or a comment below and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more content like this. Until then, thanks for watching, I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.